to move now to the Pro Shuttle. This is just a moment ago. We watched Micah Parsons here. Again, Dave, this is one of those drills where you can show your ability, your lateral quickness, your ability to start and stop and be able to explode. Uh, is what they want to see here as, you, as the players go back and forth. <clears throat> Three cones on the same line, five yards in between them. So, again, five yards in one direction, ten in the other, and, and then back. Final ten. This is Owe. 4.21. Put that in perspective for us, Alex. It's he, he is really a fabulous high-end athlete when, you, when you're able to see some of the things that that he's able to do as far as being able to start and stop. Um, really impressive uh, what he's able to do at that weight and that size. As of right now, these are the unofficial times that we are giving you. So just, we're gonna give you the information as soon as we get it, but it, we'll tell you when it is actually official. Yeah, you see Wade slip there, so he just went ahead and just stopped. Uh, so he'll do it again, but it's one of those drills that you know you have to also practice it to really get good at it. Um, to be able to know what the counts are as far as being able to get to the line and being able to turn and run. But still, that, that natural gift, that ability to just stop and start and explode out is still there. You can practice to get better at it, but the guys that have that elite, able to put up those elite numbers, just have that talent in them. Unofficial times, OA 4.21, Tony 4.24. Wade, 4.29, Parsons, 4.42, and Fry's 4.4. Uh, give you just a little bit of perspective. Again, this is from the linebackers, so the comparison here would be Parsons. Mm -hmm. And again, the unofficial number for him is 4.42. So what do you make of that? If I didn't see the film, it might mean something. But it's one of those things, right? We're, we're sitting here, and you talk about a guy like Parsons, and you just watch him on the football field. His numbers, really, I'm not that concerned with because I know what he can do as far as being on the field. So I'm not that as concerned about what he does here in this drill as I would be some of the other ones. And you see there the, the little stutter step uh, when he just hit that last line. Again, it's one of those drills you, have to, you really have to practice and to get good at. But we've seen him do some other things like run the 40 and show the explosion that he has on the football field. So those are one of this is one of the drills that, that scouts and general managers are, are just throw off the table. Right. Because there's something there are other data points that they can use and not be so concerned about that particular. I think the other fascinating thing about this river is this day and age when you talk about being able to have your phone, your electronics right there, they're able to go right to their phone. Yeah. and know exactly what they've run. If they need to get a pep talk, they can get a pep talk and do whatever you need to do. So this is a little bit different than, than I think uh, people are used to seeing when you talk about having an opportunity to see guys at a combine working out. You wouldn't see a guy necessarily talking on the phone after he was done running uh, one of the shuttles. Is part of the conversation perhaps whether you ought to run again? I mean, it, it's interesting because you get two opportunities if you want them, <laughs> right? But like a, a number of these guys in the 40, yeah. uh, Owe ran it once, Parsons mm -hmm. ran it once, but Wade ran it twice, mm -hmm. Tony ran it twice, and Tony ended up with a better time the second time. Which Wade it worked ended out. Up with the same time. Which it worked out, and that's yeah. one of the things you have to measure or, or really think about. But if you run 4-3, I'm packing I'm it done. in. I'm out. <laughs> I might be out of the building. I'm done with you guys today. Matter of fact, I'm just going to stick around and support my teammates. But that is part of the conversation, right? That, that's what it, you're it discussing is. on the phone, presumably. Whether you're talking to family members, whether you're talking to your agents, whether you're getting a pep talk from one of your coaches, it's, it's just communications and, and trying to be as comfortable as you possibly can be in this situation. And as you see these players move around, you can see just how comfortable they really are. Because when guys are at the Combine and they're in Indianapolis, is there's a little, there are a few more uh, butterflies and jitters that are going around because you, you, you're not in a, an environment where you've been and you're accustomed to being. They're, com they're comfortable being right there in that field house where they've practiced so many times around their coaches. You see Coach Pry spends a lot of time with these defensive players before they go out and, and do their next drill. So you see how comfortable they are and really how they trust this program.